Hey, how y'all doing? I am here in Jupiter, Florida with one of the best sailfish captains and anglers I know, Captain Joe Dobbins with Frequent Flyer Sport Fishing. This is offshore fishing, but offshore fishing out of Jupiter is a lot different. You know, we're not running 40 miles. How far are we gonna go? Uh, we don't have to go far at all. We're, we're first gonna go and, uh, and catch some bait, which is gonna be along the beach. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you'll know when we get there because there'll be about 50 boats there. This, the whole All, seventh fleet's going to be sitting there catching bait. Yeah. Catching uh -huh. bait. Uh, and usually we're looking at cars going down the street. That's how close we are to the beach. Now there's a reef out there, right? And that's what channels everything through. There is. There's a reef, and then we're so close to the Gulf Stream here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of cases we're fishing on the edge of the Gulf Stream, three miles off the beach. And there's deep water close to the beach and shallow water, and they just channel right along the edge, the drop off we call, which is about 130 feet of water and they just kind of migrate right down there. The bait gets stacked in there, mm -hmm. and it's you just make your drifts through that area. And, right, uh, that's where the kitchen's at. That's where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, good deal. Well, let's head to the kitchen. You got it. You know, what's amazing here is we are what, a mile and a half off yeah. the beach? Yep. Uh, we're not that far from the Gulf Stream here off of Jupiter. Right. The stream runs in real close yes. uh, to the edge here, and yes. we're in how, how, what's the deep here? We're in 44 feet here, so it's... 44 feet of water, uh, and fishing an underwater reef that runs north and south along yeah. the edge of the yeah. coast here, we're... Uh, and we're targeting sailfish, so this is achievable in yeah. a small boat. No, I mean, absolutely. you don't have to have a 50-foot sport fisher to come out here the great thing is for the small boat angler is it's a quick run to the fishing grounds. You're not burning a lot of fuel, um, and you know we're we're within shouting distance of the beach. So at lunchtime you can run in and grab a sandwich and come right back out and fish again. Now, when you're running offshore, be observant of what's on the surface out here. You might see bait, you might even see a fish skyrocket, but also be aware of what's overhead. Birds, gulls, especially man of wars, are going to be looking for bait fish for an easy meal on top. If you see a man of war up there, he's going to most likely be hovering over tuna, over dolphin, and over billfish. Now, the way to work that is to get ahead, get upwind of the man of war, and then let the wind drift you back down uh, right underneath where he's at, and you'll usually see the bait working down there. You can pitch your live bait and hopefully have a shot at a billfish. Over 250 years ago, Benjamin Franklin used a kite to harness the power of electricity from the skies. Now today, we're going to use a kite to harness a different kind of power, the power of a skyrocketing sailfish. Now you'd swear by looking at them when they're lit up beside the boat that they're electric as well. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Captain Cephas McRae, and today we're going to crack the code on catching summertime sailfish. We'll also show you a way that you can preserve your memory and your trophy for a lifetime without harming the fish. And it's all coming up on this Nuts and Bolts adventure. Oh, yeah! Right, fish, fish, fish on their end! <laughs> they are doing everything a sailfish is supposed to do. Come on up, shake your head. What a fish! There he goes. All right, see you, buddy. See you next time, pal. Woo!
when you've got the fish of a lifetime on the hook, you'd better have a fishing rod that can handle the job. Introducing the Stealth Series from Coach's Custom Rods. Super sensitivity and superior castability, every Stealth Rod is custom built for the way you fish by Coach himself. The unique spiral guide system eliminates rod torque, allowing you to fight the fish and not the rod. So go ahead, choose your weapon. Choose a Stealth Rod from Coach's Custom Rods. The fish will never know what hit them.